Robbins, what on earth did you just mastermind? Well, first and foremost, it's again, it's not just about, about one person, it's about everybody, it's a collective. We are a team, you know, obviously we lose Dennis, which is a big blow. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm disappointed that we're losing him, we'll miss him. Um, but he's, he's just been a, a brilliant person to have around. On the back of that, um, we've got a trip to Wembley on the back of an yep. unbelievably good performance. There was no, you know, we were talking about being brave, and we were brave. There's no doubt about it. We were brave, but we played well. They've got a lot of injuries, and obviously, if they got a full, fully fit squad, it's different again. You know, got Pedro Neto and mm. you know, and, and Matias Cunha and, and players like that. They're, they're incredible. Ryan Aignori was out, so you saw a pace and power that he has. And then he put him in a number ten, and you're thinking, don't get the ball to him because he's just he's lightning quick um, and got a lot of quality. Not on his own, you know. Sarabia, you know, incredible player. And they've got some young players in there. Fraser up front and um, you know trying to you know, really play a long furrow but we had enough of the ball to cause them one or two problems and when we did that we just didn't take those chances and you look at it and you think they're going to come back and, and bite us and you know, we managed to get the first goal obviously after about a five minute delay um, thankfully that was was allowed I'm sure that was Ellis's first goal then then they get two goals back into it and it looks at 88 minutes with nine I asked, I asked the, the fourth official how long was he said nine and then you just try just try to flip it and make some changes that, that meant that we could have a little bit of positivity going into the last bit Fabio then plays in a defensive shape where I'm screaming at him for about what felt like an eternity to get him higher up the field because when he gets there he starts to cause them problems and rock them a little bit things start to open up and that's what happened we get the second goal and not, not only that then we were on the front foot to go and get the winner and the winner was a brilliant finish I'm right behind it the ball boy just to the left of me picks the ball up drops it on the floor and walks away smirking to himself so I really enjoyed celebrating when the, when the, the goal went in because that was absolutely magnificent well Milan you've had a few minutes uh, to compose yourself uh, what's the overriding feeling after that game yeah, absolutely insane to, to play such a game against a uh, Prem team. And then the, the scenes at the end, yeah, it's just, that's why, uh, why you play football for. And um, yeah, it's going to be the first time Wembley for me. And uh, just, yeah, can't wait to play them, man. This is why you came to England to play your football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. This, uh, these are the games that I want to play, that I want to show um, the teams and the players what I can do and help the team out. So I'm happy to, to have uh, contributed today. There are ways to win a game, <coughs> and then there are other ways to win the game. And this was this just blew it out of the water with the two late goals so deep into uh, stoppage time. Yeah, this is like a, a perfect ending because I think both teams um, deserve to win. I think, but <coughs> just at the end, <coughs> sorry, you can see like we just I think won it a bit more than them, and you can see that we um, create more chances. Chances, and yeah, it's just like I told you, it's just absolutely insane to play uh, and to see such goals uh, happen in front of me. Hadji Wright just seems to be improving match by match and it was yeah, yeah. a wonderful finish to get the winner. Yeah, 100% and I'm happy for him and also on the training you, you can see that he's um, steady improving and trying to improve the whole time and also this week you can see that he has been uh, working on especially this kind, of, uh, this kind of shots from this angle and yeah, today it just, uh, yeah, just works out. Man. But let's not forget Ellis Sims got two. Yeah, 100%. And Ellis, yeah, you know, as a striker, you have to be there and he is there every time. And also the, the set that he gave to Haji was just perfect in, in his run. And yeah, you can, you can also for Haji, you can hit a ball better than that, especially at that moment. So it's just amazing, man. Was this the first time you've experienced VAR? Because there was an awfully long wait after the first goal had gone in for it to be uh, awarded. No, no, no. In, in Holland, in the uh, Eredivisie, you have uh, VAR the whole time. So I know. Uh, I'm, I'm quite familiar with the VR, but um, yeah, it's just normal for me to be honest. Normal. You end up celebrating the goal twice, don't you, in the end? Because you the immediate aftermath, and then uh, you have to wait for the official to, to give it. Yeah, it's always kind of um, like nervous because you don't know what's going to happen. Especially you can like the 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 ref won't tell you anything, so you just wait for the moment that he gives a call, or it's going to be offside, or the goal will be allowed. Mm. And then you're going to hear like the goals allowed and just like an extra celebration, extra motivation, you know, so that, that's just good to know. But you get an inkling because it had taken so long <coughs> that it was probably going to be given because they weren't able to find uh, conclusive evidence that it shouldn't stand? I mean, like, you know, with the, with the VR, you, you don't know what's going to happen. Sometimes they find other things what happened might like before or after, but 
it's just important for us that the goal was allowed and that gave us like the hope to continue uh, the game for us. Mm. And today, let's not beat around the bush, you've beaten the Premier League side. Yeah, yeah, 100% and I'm happy to have played and seen what the level of uh, a Prem team is. Obviously, they, they miss important players, of course, but you know, that that worked out for us. Mm. And I'm happy once again that we won, uh, won the game today and that we're going to win the game.